Which one do you like better? Give it a lick. This one. This one. Good morning, YouTube. What's up, guys? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. Today, we have another first run impressions video on a shoe that I've actually had for a bit of time, and I'm finally gonna run in it. Today, we will be running in the Skechers Razor Plus. Now, as you might know, not know, if you don't know, now you know. I ran in the Razor 3, I loved it, but I've always had a love-hate relationship with Hyperburst Foam. In some shoes I love it, and in some shoes I don't really like it at all. I'm hoping that the Razor Plus will be kind of just like the Razor 3, but improving upon some of those things that people had issues with. Do you like, uh, do you like this pile of carbon plated shoes here. This is from the video from the middle of the week. All right, well, we're gonna lace these up. We're gonna go for a run and then we're gonna talk all about my first impressions of the Skechers Razor Plus. Prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins I saw but my run through the money The pressure be calling Left on my blessings I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something That's why I ain't calling Phone in progression It's all that I wanted The phone in affection I summon and dub it Cause check out prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins I saw but my run through the money The pressure be calling Left on my blessings I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted A phone in affection, I summon and dub it Why you be all in my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who line for nothing I see that we different, you riding, I double my Don't do discussions, on bragging about hundreds Don't go to your places, I know that they sunken Don't call me your brother, I barely could trust it I talk to a shorty, she bagging the bugging And I'ma need all of my dollars on corporate So hand me the money, I divvy the pie I'ma give all of my people a portion To build them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride I can't be mixy when iffy the vibe and 40 on 50, it's really the time Why is you all on my phone like you want me Like you wasn't pushing the kids to the side I don't know if you thinking I'm blind Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's what it was Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing the All right, I'm back for my run And now it's time to talk all about the Skechers Razor Plus as you guys might remember, a little while back, I reviewed the Skechers Razor 3, and I really liked the Razor 3. In fact, uh, I was on the fence about Hyperburst before I tried this shoe, and it kind of sold me on the foam after I ran in it. So I was really excited to get my hands on this shoe. I will be making some comparisons to the original Razor 3 uh, in this video, but just keep in mind they are pretty similar. So if you like the Razor 3, you're probably gonna really like the Plus 2. Before we get started today, I do wanna let you guys know that this shoe was sent to me by Running Warehouse for the purpose of review. However, they're not gonna see it before you. Skechers is also not gonna see it before you. My opinions are my own, as they always are, so let's start with the specs. The Skechers Razor Plus comes in at 5.8 ounces for a woman's size 8, which is wildly light. And for my pair, which is a size 10 women's, it comes in at 6.5 ounces. It has a 4 millimeter drop with 28 millimeters of stack in the heel and 24 in the forefoot. Now, originally I wasn't gonna give this a true to size because I feel like it's a little bit snug, which we'll get to, but I actually have a woman's size 10, like I said, usually I'm a 10 and a half. So yeah, I'm gonna say that this shoe is true to size. I'm not exactly sure why I was sent a 10. I'm gonna guess and say maybe they don't have 10 and a half. Maybe it's just too big, but yeah, I'm not, not too sure. Either way, it was it worked. The upper of the Skechers Razor Plus is a ripstop mesh, which they have improved upon since the Razor 3. It almost feels sort of like a knit material, and I'd say that it's even more breathable than its predecessor. Skechers has also done away with the overlays that were on this shoe. No longer does it say speed. 
across the midfoot. So I was prepared to tell you guys today that this shoe is really snug and almost a little too snug, but then I realized that I have a size 10 here and usually I'm a 10 and a half, so that's all kind of forgotten about. The lockdown across the midfoot of this shoe is really solid, definitely more solid than its predecessor, the Razor 3. This is one of those uppers that I talk about where you lace it up and you just forget that you're wearing a shoe on your foot. It almost feels like it's becoming a part of your foot. Like I said earlier, this shoe is very breathable. It's a lot more breathable than the Razor Razor 3, which I also thought was pretty breathable. Across the top here, they've added some extra perforation, which they didn't really have in the first version. And then they also have some more of that perforation in the midfoot. So I mean, if you're looking for a breathable shoe, you found it here. They've also changed the laces on this shoe from the Razor 3. The Razor 3's laces were flat and not stretchy. These are round, soft, and stretchy. Uh, they feel kind of weird. I don't love the way they feel. It doesn't really feel like performance based, but they're fine. They stay tied and again, they gave me a good lockdown fit. The tongue on this shoe is a slightly different shape than the Razor 3, um, but it's still the same amount of thinness and it's not gusseted. The heel counter has uh, some padding here, not a ton, just enough. Really the only structure here is in this heel counter. I mean, this is a neutral shoe through and through. And in terms of it being narrow in that forefoot, I mean, for me, it's not an issue, but for somebody with a wider foot, you might find this shoe to be narrow. I think it's about the same as the Razor 3, really. I really like whatever Skechers did to this material to improve it. It's a softer, more conforming feel. I had no issues with blisters, hot spots, irritation. I just wonder how durable this upper is gonna be over time. Skechers is using their signature Hyperburst foam for the midsole of the Razor Plus, and they also have their M-Strike technology in this shoe, which is a bump in the midfoot area that just helps to roll you forward, promotes a midfoot, forefoot stride which I am personally a big fan of. You know, I had to look at the stack height of these two shoes because I felt like maybe this one had a little bit less, but it seems to be that uh, they have the exact same stack height, 28, 24. Um, so I guess it's pretty much identical. Still, you're getting that same soft, but very responsive landing and that spring from the Hyperburst foam that a lot of people have come to be obsessed with. I have two runs in the shoe so far, and I just think in my first run, I felt like maybe there wasn't enough underfoot, um, but in my run yesterday that I did, uh, I did not feel that at all. It felt like just, it felt just fine. As far as the two runs that I did, my first one was kind of just a regular day that I took the shoe out just to see what it felt like. I didn't really pick up the pace. I didn't really slow down. It was kind of just one of those whatever I feel like doing kind of runs. But yesterday I took the shoe out for five tempo miles, really trying to pick up the pace and it felt so good and so that's that's this shoe's sweet spot to me. I feel like the Hyperburst foam in the Razor 3 and in the Razor Plus, it's just made to go a little bit faster. That being said, I'm not so sure that I would take this shoe out for just daily training miles. Um, in that case, it felt a little bit flat to me on that first run. Another thing to really note about this shoe, and I kind of mentioned it earlier, is that it is neutral through and through. I mean, there is no structure to this shoe. It kind of reminds me of like the Atreyu base model shoe in that sense, or like a Kinvara or uh, a Beacon. Now there's really not much to it. So if you are a runner who needs some structure, which I actually am usually, uh, then this might not be the shoe for you. But that being said, uh, my stride wasn't too terrible in this shoe. Maybe that's because it's lower to the ground, doesn't have all that stack height so that my foot's not wiggling and wobbling all over the place. But other than that, I really have no issues with this midsole foam. I think it performs well at your regular pace, but I think it performs stellar at your tempo pace. If we turn the shoe over, you'll see that Skechers has incorporated Goodyear rubber into the Razor Plus. In the Razor 3, we just saw standard rubber. Skechers has added a piece on the medial side of the midfoot just to make this shoe a bit more durable. Now, if you remember in my Razor 3 video, I talked about how I haven't had much luck with Goodyear rubber in Skechers shoes. And at that time, I had only tried the Go Run Ride 8, which I didn't really like, and I thought that the Goodyear rubber on that shoe was too firm. And the Razor 3 didn't have Goodyear rubber, uh, but I kind of knew that they were gonna incorporate it in the Plus, and I was worried about how that would affect the ride of the shoe. Well, I'm happy to tell you that it does not affect the ride of the shoe at 
all. In fact, it just helps the grip of this shoe on surfaces that much more. I think Skechers did a great job with the outsole of the Razor Plus. They kept the pattern fairly similar, just added a little bit and made it more durable with the Goodyear rubber. Maybe it added a little bit more weight to this shoe. I think for a men's size nine and the Razor 3, it's 6.4 ounces. And then in the Razor Plus for a men's size nine, it's 6.9 ounces. But I mean, come on, for a little extra durability, I think it's kind of worth it. Thumbs up on the outsole. The Skechers Razor 3 is $134.95 on runningwarehouse.com. A decent price. I mean, I think it could be less, but... It's not the worst. If you're interested in picking up your own pair of the Razor Plus, I'll link it down below. Keep in mind, this is an affiliate link, but that doesn't mean much for you. It just helps out my channel so I can keep making these videos and helping you out, I hope. I mean, guys, this is a really fun shoe. If you like the Razor 3, you're gonna like the Razor Plus. I think what Skechers was just trying to do here was make it a little bit more durable uh, and I don't wanna say beefed up, but maybe like a little more sub substantial if you wanna do some daily training in this. It's very versatile and it gives runners a great option uh, if they want a shoe that they can do some daily training mileage in, but also race in that doesn't have a plate. If you just want like a standard running shoe, then the Razor Plus is kinda of where it's at. As for me, I think that I would use this shoe uh, for tempo days. I don't think I would do a ton of just regular miles in this shoe. Uh, so definitely for faster days. And I definitely think also that I would race in this shoe too if I was looking for an option that didn't have a plate. It's definitely not a one trick pony. It's more like a, like a two or three trick pony. Daily training, tempo day, race day, three. Well guys, that concludes my first run impressions of the Skechers Razor Plus. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe. And when you're done with all that, hit that notifications bell down below so you can find out every time I upload a new video. Do you like the speed logo or, or would you rather it be gone? I have some more videos for you guys next week, but in the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like heller. See you next time. Ruby, come here, come here, come here. Ah, oh, boy. Hi. You want to say hi? Good morning, you two. <laughs> oh, you should be baby. And say hi. Hello. Hello.